When running a job containing layers set to fill or image mode, the laser travels back and forth as it engraves each line that makes up the graphic. For each of these lines, the laser has to accelerate to reach its set speed and then slow down so it can turn around before engraving the next line. Since every layer has a set speed and power, this creates a bit of a ramp for each pass. This means that the sections of each line where the acceleration and deceleration occur, the laser spends additional time. The longer your laser takes to pass over any part of the engraving, the more effective power it outputs over that area. This often results in overburning at the edges of your project, where your laser does most of its speeding up or slowing down. The solution for this is overscanning which gives your laser a runway where it can speed up and slow down outside the bounds of your engraving. By giving your laser extra room to accelerate and decelerate with the laser off, you ensure that it only fires once it's at full speed, resulting in an even burn across the entire engraved area. For lasers with DSP controllers, overscanning is applied automatically in firmware, so you won't have to set it manually. Users with G-code-based controllers, commonly used in diode lasers, enable or disable overscanning in the Cut Settings Editor. Double-click on any layer set to Image or Fill Mode in the Cuts and Layers panel to open the Cut Settings Editor window. Here we can toggle overscanning to turn it on or off and set the percentage we want to use. The overscanning distance is always calculated as a percentage of speed. To the right of the text box is the distance needed on the sides of our engraving to account for overscanning. When enabled, we need to make sure we have enough clearance in our laser's physical workspace for it to travel beyond our engraving and not bump into the side of the machine. Increasing the speed of the layer or the percentage of overscanning being applied means you'll need additional travel distance. While you can't adjust the percentage for a DSP laser in Lightburn, the distance still varies based on speed. As you increase engraving speed, the overscanning distance increases as well. Because higher speeds require more distance and time for acceleration and decelerations, increasing the speeds beyond a certain point will yield diminishing returns, and in some cases can actually lead to an increase in job time rather than a reduction. If we head up to the top toolbar and click on the monitor icon to open the preview window, we can see overscanning depicted by the shaded red area outside of our engraving. If you have overscanning enabled but aren't seeing it in preview, make sure the Show Traversal Moves option is enabled toward the bottom of the window. This window also gives a time estimate for the cut distance, rapid moves, and total project time. If you adjust speeds for your engraving and check back in the preview window, It'll give you a good idea of what an optimal range is before you start to increase job times by traveling too quickly. The preview window also shows you the maximum boundaries of your laser's work area. This is depicted in green and may require you to zoom out so that it's in view. It's a great way to check that you aren't going to have any issues and that your overscanning distance keeps the job within the bounds of the machine. For G-code lasers, if you have overscanning enabled, and there isn't enough room at the edge of your job to accommodate the extra travel distance, Lightburn may throw a cut maybe out of bounds due to overscanning error, or your laser's controller may return an alarm to error. On DSPs, if there isn't enough travel distance for overscanning, the controller may return the not enough extend space error. There's a few things you can do to correct excessive overscanning and the errors caused by it. First is to reduce speed, or overscanning percentage if your laser allows for it. Next, if using absolute coordinates for positioning, move your graphics towards the center of the workspace. If you're using current position or user origin instead, position your laser or set your origin closer to the center of your laser's work area. Now you know what overscanning is and how to use it to ensure your engravings are sharp and consistent from start to finish. It may take a few times of playing around with the settings to understand the added distance you'll need, but the built-in light burn and firmware checks are really helpful in preventing unforeseen issues. Check out our documentation for more information on overscanning, and be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos on mastering light burn.